I transition. I'm saying this stuff to y'all to help y'all to understand. Because this is spiritual warfare. This is dealing with conflict. Anytime you commit to something or to somebody, conflict is going to arise. And conflict is going to come because it's going to test your loyalty. To see will you remain faithful to it. Does it have to be perfect in order for you to remain faithful? That's the question I'm asking you. Does it have to be perfect in order for you to remain faithful? If you leave, can you yet be an intercessor? If you go, can you be an intercessor? There's not one place that I have transitioned from, that I am not yet still an intercessor for. I am yet an intercessor for the Apostolic Church of Jesus Christ. I remember them in prayer. First United Pentecostal Church and I remember them in prayer. I sure do. They sold a lot into my life as to who I am. Down at Brother Arnold's, in Gainesville, Destiny Church, still yet an avid, an intercessor, praying for the man of God and the church. Prophet is Janet German, still in covenant contact with her. We talk, and we talk on a personal basis. I probably see her next week. And, of course, Apostle Paulette Broach which is where I am now, covenant relationships. Please make sure that in anything that you do, that it is done right. I know we got this thing about us as to where we say, well, you know, uh, 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 I ain't going to be in the middle of no mess. Uh, uh, no, oh, there's too much confusion going on there and that type of stuff. And, and a lot of it do be confusion. And ain't no lying about that and no denying about that. But the thing of it is, is what I have come to find out a lot of times, God wants to use us as light in the midst of confusion. And anytime we are light in confusion, you best believe that, that the enemy is going to try to get you away from that place. Because if your heart is covenantly connected for real of sincerity, it's not going to want you to connect. It's not going to want you to be there. So it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a fight. So we have to really know how to decipher and be careful when we say God done told us to do something or God done told us to be somewhere. Be very careful about that. And then as soon as conflict arises, there we go up and run it. There we go up and moving. Now God does transition. But did God transition? Or did frustration transition you? Or, or separate you? Let's just say it like that. Did frustration do it? We have to be careful, y'all. Because we're messing up people that are coming behind us trying to find the way and really wanting to know the truth of how the way actually is. We're doing damage to them. And you best believe people pay attention to that type of stuff. I was looking the other day um, on um, Facebook. They were, um, uh, how do you say her name? Miranda Curtis. I want to say that's how you say her name. Miranda Curtis. She, um, I can't even think of that song um, that she got. It's real famous, real, real, real. Um, I can't think of it right now. But Miranda Curtis, she's a, a gospel artist, right? Her name was mentioned in a post. And boy, when I tell you, you should have seen the comments that people made. And it, to my amazement, majority of the comments were saying the same thing. They were talking about how she was no longer at this church that she was at. And they were saying, we about sick of her. This is what people were saying in the comments. We are sick of her. 
she is, you know, she is anointed and, and gifted to sing. But her, her her character and her integrity, it is just, mm-mm, we about sick of her. She just move around all the time. You know, she's just constantly moving around all the time. She does not know how to be still. She's all over the place. And all what? Okay, so check this out. This is what people are doing. They're paying attention. Because when you commit to somewhere, when people hear you verbally commit to something, or say that you have covenantly connected yourself to something and attached God's name to it, then they expect it to have stability. They expect it to have stability. Again, they expect it to have stability. Why? Because God's name is on it. God is connected to transition. He is not connected to separation, division. He's not connected to that. Transition, yes. Yes. But not division. So, be very careful. Be very careful. I pray y'all caught the wisdom in this. I spent the time I needed to spend. I pray y'all caught the wisdom in what I'm saying. If you didn't get a chance to um, hear the whole thing, I'm going to leave it up on my page for you to go back and listen to. Also, it's on the um, podcast. It's on the podcast as well for you to check it out. But seriously, we're talking about spiritual warfare. And I guess if I had to, um, you know, to give a title of what we talked about today, it would be about transition. Understanding transition would be that that um, I talked about today is understanding transition because there is an effective way to do it. When you are called to do some great things, you better watch that booger man. You better watch that nasty devil. When you have been called to do some great things, he will try to catch you up with things in your heart. He will try to hit you with offense. Every time, he will try to hit you with a fence. Watch him, y'all. Watch him. Watch him. Be like Jacob. I'm not going anywhere until you bless me. Don't let the first sign of trouble cause you to be, oh, I got to, oh, oh. Especially when you done said it was God. If you're going to do that, at least tell the truth and tell the people, well, you know, I was in my, my emotions at that time. It wasn't really the spirit. Tell the truth about it. That's a hard thing to have to admit, ain't it? That it, I wasn't in the spirit. I was in my, and that was me. I was in my emotions. It wasn't, it wasn't God. See, at least be honest about it to tell the truth. Because it confuses people. People are looking for stability. They're looking for somewhere to be, something to connect to that they know is going to be safe. And when they've trusted your word and you have talked about a place and talked about a person and you know and how they are so great and they so this and how you so supportive and you're so loving of the place and all and then turn right around you're not there at the place first thing I want to know what's going on what's happening and the scripture says that we ought to give them an answer so even though I know you've grown and don't think that you're supposed to give an answer go read your bible it says when they come to ask a question, you should have given an answer, it says. That is the reason why you make sure that you have studied to show thyself approved. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, but can rightly divide the word of truth. So there is going to come a question to want to know why. What happened? What's going on? What's happening? So we got to make sure that we're doing these things like we're supposed to. Again, I'm telling y'all, that's why I'm like I am at Trim. I tell people, if you won't know anything about Trim, just listen to me. Listen to me. I tell you, you, you'll get it. You'll get it. That's why I'm like I am at Trim. I do not care anything about gifts. I don't care nothing about your gift. God bless your gift. I'm called to deal with integrity. 
to deal with character, that behind the scenes stuff. You ain't going to, you can sing and do whatever. And I'll sit right there with my hands like that. And be looking dead at you saying, when you get finished, come on in here so we can talk about that lie you told a while ago. See, that's me. Because that's what God did to me. So, Father, I thank you this morning for allowing me to talk to your people. I thank you, Father, for the word that has gone forth. God, I pray that it has fallen upon good soil. Good soil that it has fallen upon some good ears. Some ears that were open to hear what the Spirit was saying. Ears that will grab a hold of and allow it to penetrate down in their being, God. And that we have learned something else, something else has been taught to us, something else has been written upon the tablets of our hearts that we might not sin against you. Father, I thank you that you are with us on this day and that you, Father, are showing yourself strong within our lives on this day. Continue to be with us, God. Don't let these words be words that we just hear at the moment and then we forget all about them, but let them be engrafted upon our hearts, God, that we remember them. We're always able to go back to them in our time of needing or picking them up. God, I love you. I thank you for everyone that have tuned in today, everyone that would hear the word. I pray nothing but blessings upon them. A great and wonderful day today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all. We did it. We did it. So, we're going to close out.